Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about the package library that's available in both PDQ Connect and PDQ Deploy. Kind of wanted to go over first steps about like how those packages get into the package library. Just briefly to go over that, what happens when a vendor releases a new update for one of the applications in our package library? What we do is we're automatically notified. We download that package. Uh, we install that as kind of just a smoke test, make sure that it works. We run it through a number of security tests to ensure that it's free of viruses. And then we send that over to our QA team the QA team then will submit that to our various like VM infrastructure uh, VMs and then uh, run those, make sure that they install as appropriate in all of the uh, various operating systems and that the actual program works. And once we've determined that, uh, yep, everything's a go, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and publish that in addition to the collection for PDQ Deploy, if there's a corresponding collection for that. Once we've completed that process, so the security check, the QA check, the publication check, uh, you're notified uh, usually within five minutes for PDQ Deploy. It could be as high as 30 minutes, depending, and uh, usually within 30 minutes on PDQ Connect as well. And uh, those are those new packages will be available. Now, depending on your settings in PDQ Deploy, uh, those might be a immediately available or they might be available at some point afterwards. So first Again. thing that we want to do is kind of just look at PDQ Connect and go through some of the process there of what that looks like. This is the list of the packages. So if you click on packages on the left hand navigation pane, you'll see a list here. Um, if you want to filter this out, which I always find very useful to find out who's doing what, you can either do a source as either custom, which is something that you've done, or you would do the source as PDQ and uh, you'll see all of our available packages here. You can click on one of these. For instance, I'm gonna click on 7-Zip. You have a variety of different versions that are available here, um, and those are all available for download and installation. You can click on one of these. You'll get information about the name, the version, obviously, and then a description. This is the description is provided by us, uh, where we get the information or where we get the package, the operating system that supplies to, whether it's 30-bit, 64-bit, and then any other additional notes. It's very important to check these notes before you deploy this out within your organization. Can, otherwise, some interesting things can happen. And then it also gives you the timeout before it actually just errors out and says that it's no longer going to install. As far as uh, the various steps, these are the steps very similar if you're used to PDQ deploy, how this works, they're interchangeable um, as far as like being similar UI or UX experience. Um, and then uh, just go through here, you can see the various things, check those out before you install just to make sure that it's going to work in your environment. Of course, we always recommend that you install this with a pilot group before uh, download or installing it throughout your entire organization. And that's essentially it for the package library within Connect. Um, for the package library within Deploy, it's uh, slightly different, um, but also very similar. So for instance, like if you click on the package library here, you'll see all available packages. You can see the categories. So for instance, like if you don't know the particular name of a software package, you can always look at uh, whether it's not an internet browser or for instance, like utilities. Here, for instance, I wanna look at 7-Zip. I'd wanna download that. Um, you can also use the filter to search for anything within the package library. You can also do it by vendors just in case you're just curious about like what's available for instance like Microsoft maybe you want to see all Microsoft updates so you would look by vendors there once that's downloaded uh, it's going to show up probably most likely unless you set it differently as an auto download package which you can see with the little arrow that goes to the side of the package this one is not an auto download package just a normal package auto download package means that every time that there is an update to the package library for instance like when we publish those new uh, updates that that is downloaded to your package library locally. Uh, again, that's depending on your own settings. If we look into these packages here, you'll see that uh, because this is an auto download package, it's not available for editing. So uh, these are all grayed out. But again, this is very useful if you want to create your own package just to see how different packages are created. And uh, you can go through that various steps, reproduce everything. You can save this as a, a non-auto package and then uh, play around with it as much as you see fit and then deploy that out. That's basically the package library in Connect, the package library in Deploy. And a couple of other things that I wanted to show you here is uh, we do have this information here, the package library. Uh, so a little bit of recursion or um, inception, if you will. The actual link to this package library tutorial will be this video that you're watching now. Um, and we do also do have all of the packages or at least the major packages that we have are listed here. If you click on this link here or this link at the bottom, you will be taken to this website, which is Explore the Package Library.
This is a updated website. Uh, it's automatically updated um, with real-time information. So every time we publish a package, this will be updated. And you can see, you can, re, uh, for instance, like you can sort by newest, you can sort by name. So if we wanted to see 7-zip, we could see this here. Um, these icons here indicate whether or not it's for deploy or for connect. Once we do click in here, you can see that all of the available versions that we have available within the package library, the download information, um, and all of the other information that you would see in the package library notes, both in connect and in deploy. That's essentially it for exploring the package library. Again, I would encourage you to, to come in here and see what we have available. There's quite a bit. It's very useful, especially if you need to know like whether or not a package has been updated. And finally, um, if you have an idea for a package, uh, we would love to have your request. Now, basically, it's real simple. It's just a form, full name, email address, whether or not uh, this supports silent installs. You don't need to ch check this if you don't know. Just leave it at not sure. Uh, the application name and the download link. And what we do is we run that through a series of checks. We check the EULA and a variety, like, and make sure that, you know, this isn't something that, like, for instance, like, I think there was some sewing software at one point that uh, someone had put in. Not really applicable to a system administrator, so we decided not to include it. Uh, there's no guarantee that we do include those, but uh, we do have Package Wednesday, which is the Wednesday following Patch Tuesday, where we uh, always release at least one, usually quite a few packages into the package library. And this is a direct result of the people that have input information and requests on our request page. Thanks everyone for watching. My name is Brig with PTQ.com. If you have any questions, please hit us up at PTQ.com forward slash support.